How's it going, everybody? And welcome back. So we're going to be going over the Pokemon you're going to want to use against Zapdos. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look, shall we? All right, so in the number one spot, it's going to be Golem with Rock Throw and Stone Edge. Okay, so that's definitely one you're going to want to use in your top spot. Next is going to be a Golem with Rock Throw, and he doesn't have the set, but Rock Throw and Rock Blast, that's going to work as well, so keep that in mind. All right, and next will be a Golem with Rock Throw Ancient Power. Okay, anything Golem with rocks, <laughs> basically, okay? Uh, that's going to be your number one bet. And then, DPS not might may not be the best, but... It's still going to be good because it'll keep you in the fight with good defense, all right? And not very effective. So Mud Slap and then Stone Edge, all right? On your right on. So Mud Slap and Stone Edge, all right? And Tyranitar is going to be probably on the number one, number two spot here. Probably number two after Golem because it can't learn a uh, quick attack rock move. So it's DPS total on the, Zap, on the Zapdos is not going to be all the way um, like Golem. So anyways, uh, you're going to want Stone Edge and uh, Bite. Iron Tail might work, but I would go with Bite for DPS. All right. So that's those. Let's uh, take a look at a few more here. Uh, I'm going to go by number because it's actually right over here. Stone Queen, so Needle Queen with Bite or Poison Jab and then Stone Edge, okay? And this is not the next one on the list. This is just, I'm going to go down the list here in my Pokemon. So Needle Queen, if you have one with Bite and Stone Edge or uh, Poison Jab, Stone Edge, okay? Needle King doesn't learn any rock moves, so we're going to go ahead and skip him. All right, skip all of these. All right, so I hope you guys are excited. Uh, I've been waiting for this. Instinct's your time to shine. And Zapdos uh, is actually going to be super effective against all the birds, so uh, kind of trumps over all of them there a little bit. Moltres does have the highest DPS and attacks quite fast. So, uh, yeah, but he's not super effective against the other flying types. So let's keep moving here and see what we can find. Um... So Zapdos does not learn uh, a flying type move. I'm pretty sure it's all uh, thunder or electric types. So if you have a Machamp with Stone Edge, um, I would recommend using that. That would work too. So basically almost anything with a rock type move. Okay. And not really electric. You're not going to really want to use those. Okay. Uh, Jinx is going to work great. Cloyster, not so much because he's water type and he's going to get, you know, super effective. So we'll get to the Jinx here in a second. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I wouldn't recommend using Onyx unless you had like a maxed out one. And even then his DPS is going to be too low. Um, yep, let's keep on moving here. Uh, let's see, I think I have a Hitmonlee with... Uh, Oh, there it is. Your quick attack's not going to be very effective, but you have Stone Edge there. But there's also there's so many other choices to pick before uh, Hitmonlee, um, because your first your quick attack is not going to be really doing anything there. All right, so let's keep moving down the list and see when we get to that Jinx. All right, so this move set works, but you're probably going to want Frost Breath or and Avalanche. So, let's see if I have one of those. All right. So, there's Confusion in Avalanche. That works great. And surprisingly, I got this one right outside my house. A 100%. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Oh, let's put that away. That's my other recorder. All right. So, let's go ahead and appraise it. Simply amazing. HP, attack, defense. Wow. <laughs> it's 100. All right. So... A Jinx will be good. 
Um, if you have a maxed out one, uh, it's going to do a lot of damage. They're glass cannon, but uh, hey, it works. All right, so that almost uh, about covers it. There's Omnistar. Let's see. He's water type, so you're going to get wrecked. <laughs> uh, if I can find him. There we go. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't think you should use it because it's water and it's going to be super effective to you. So eh, probably not your best bet. So basically all the above that I, that I named there, the Jinx, Golem, uh, Nidro Queen, and she's ground type. So the electric moves are not going to be very effective. So that's why she's on the list, uh, with Stone Edge, uh, Tyranitar with Stone Edge, Golem with Stone Edge, right on with Stone Edge. All right. So, uh, rock type moves are the thing to have basically all right so <clears throat> i up my, my moltres i used my free raid pass for the day and i actually caught another one so i'm up to 16 and i'm not going to go out and catch any more tomorrow um that was good and i'm happy with the moltres i have uh 98 is my max and then this one follows behind i have to check the percentage on that okay so anyways uh back on topic to what you want to use let's see if there's anything in gen 2 that's going to be useful to take out a Zapdos. Um, basically, there's so many Pokemon, but a lot of them are going to be weak against it because, you know, Thunder is going to take them out fast. So we have to kind of counter with something that's not very effective uh, when Zapdos uses its Thunder moves. Okay, so I think that almost covers it. Uh, Pseudo Wudo will work actually quite nice. Found this one yesterday. I need to change counter uh, and get rock throw. So any pseudo wudo with rock type moves. Let's see the other ones here. Rock slide, very nice. Yeah, you don't want to use counter because that's not going to be very effective because it's flying. So rock throw and stone edge will probably be your best bet or rock slide. Okay. So pseudo add pseudo wudo to the list because thunder is it's just neutral to him. So. May not be able to take a ton of hits, but it it'll get the damage done, especially if you have a nice maxed out one. Um, all right, this guy's evolution once again. I have no more. I keep transferring them. I don't know why. I had a ninety-eight one. I don't know why I would transfer that. But um, you're gonna want to have, I believe, water gun maybe or mud slap and then uh, stone edge. So whooper's evolution there. And too bad, man. See, this is why Zapdos is going to be Zapdos is going to be so nice, is because everything there's so many water types, and this could be super effective towards it, but it's water, so it's you know it's going to get taken out quite fast. So I think that almost covers it. If Steelix had a rock move, it would be ideal, but it doesn't. Shuckle's CP is way too low to even join the fight. You could use a maxed out Sneasel with, uh, let's see, Ice Shard, Ice Punch, or Ice Shard, Avalanche. There you go. That would do pretty nice. Um, yeah, actually, if you have a maxed out one with that moveset, go for it. Um, one of these. Okay, let's see. It can learn Stone Edge. So Rock Throw and Stone Edge, Mag Cargo. Okay, if you have a nice maxed out one, once again, use it because it's going to be nice. But I don't know too many people that have maxed out one of those. Swine up, definitely he's going to be one. Uh, I mean, his evolution. <laughs> and uh, you're going to probably want ice powder. I think that's the, I forgot what the first move was, but it, it learned stone edge and or avalanche. Um, so an evolved swine up. That'll help you out pretty good, too. Um, and so I'm a little surprised. There's a few more that I thought here. And uh, looks like that's about it. Yep. So that, that covers it. So I hope that helped you guys out. And um, let's go ahead and recap the top ones you want to have really quick. So Tyranitar with uh, the quick attack, whatever, and the... Charge Attack, Stone Edge, okay? Golems, Rhydons, and you don't want Earthquake, okay? 
That was the wrong one. There you go. Mud Slap and Stone Edge. That'll keep you in the fight so you can get more Premier Balls to catch this Zapdos. And Rock Throw, Stone Edge Golem. Okay. And any Rock moves. All right. So there you go. I hope that helped you guys out. Um, I'm actually looking forward to using my Nidro Queen. See how that works out. See how well she can uh, survive against the Zapdos. Zapdos. <laughs> Please don't come after me with the pick pitchforks and the mob. But anyways, uh, <laughs> some of you might get that because I, I keep saying Zapdos wrong. Zapdos. And uh, they attack me. So anyways, <laughs> thank you for watching, guys, and take care. Okay, and one more thing I want to add. Um, so 100% IV Zapdos, the one you're going to be looking for is 19 Oh, two. All right. So, yeah. Good luck out there. And uh, hopefully, you guys can find a 100% Zapdos. If I get 95 and up, I'll be happy. I'll, to be honest, a 91 and up, and I'll be happy. So, 1902 is 100. Okay. So, good luck out there once again. And I'll catch you guys later.